Dente Rigamortis. I'm Review Cultist. And I'm Dr. Leviathan. And tonight we have a very special guest. I am the Gamer in Yellow. And we're here to discuss those internet stories most creepy and most pasta. Tonight we have Sonic.exe. So not a really creepy one. <laughs> no. Just trope riddled and It's not even crappy. trope riddled because well, no no, I had this conversation with the wife last night. <laughs> it's not trope riddled. Because it's a carbon copy of all of them, yeah. just like they all are. So in order for it to be trope riddled, it has to be telling a different story. With the same stuff. And have the same things take place, preferably in a different configuration. But no, it's exactly... But no, it's just fucking, alright, fucking get a game under creepy circumstances, bam, first in line. <laughs> fucking warning not to play it. Play it anyway. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Weird shit starts to happen, but I ain't gonna turn it off. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Fucking yep. just ends. Yep. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> sing it to the choir, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Just completely sing Preach it to the, to the choir. choir, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yep. Um, like, so I let's mean, let's just get this out of the way at the beginning. We don't recommend this one. No. 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 I mean, if you had your heart set on reading Godzilla NES and... <laughs> but didn't want to read, like, and nine chapters. you ain't got that, you know, time for commitment, well, first off, um, you know, sorry your girlfriend just left you. <laughs> um, and secondly, read this instead, because... Pretty much all you gotta do is read it is Godzilla it, NES. It is literally a comic In Sonic, company. with Sonic's clothes on, yeah, and it's literally... without the commitment. The only reason, the only difference, or the only thing I was ex- like I was expecting in this story that didn't happen was that he ended up having a like a like a love interest that was actually inside the game, unless you count Kyle. <laughs> but no, no, exactly. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Okay. No, I'm it, confused, in, in Godzilla man. NES, he had like a love interest that was like trapped, whose soul was trapped in Godzilla NES. Oh, his old girlfriend. Okay. I know. Yeah. He, I know. I know. It was a hard thing, and you've tried to forget that. He's blocked that out of his memory. <laughs> yeah. He does not I'm want pretty to call sure. Those I'm pretty sure. What was it? Was it Sam or Matt? Matt. Matt. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Matt's drinking game's out of that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. And also, you guys could probably use that same drinking game for this one. Maybe use a, a little bit more bourbon. Um. <laughs> oh, I just got a really nice bottle of whiskey. <laughs> 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 so, if you want to crack it out, it would make it a little bit easier to get through this. <laughs> so, this ended up, this popped up um, in 2012 on creepypasta.wiki by a creator named JC the Hyena. Yeah, um, he's laughing at us all. <laughs> <laughs> and he was inspired to do this after uh, he did a edited screen cap of the title screen for the first Sonic game, which is the titular image that pops up kind of with this story. Which is, as I've discussed, Gust them ne- numerous many times. <laughs> that is the worst reason to write a creepy pasta. Yeah, is because so, of an image. And unless so, you've fucking got any any fucking amount of talent as a writer. Yeah. So what uh, what differentiated this from the rest of the fan fictions that came out for Sonic and stuff? Well, the same year, um, a Game Jolly user, uh, Mystic Crimson. Um, created a game emulator or a game emulation of the stories and it got really popular because YouTubers like PewDiePie and others did um, some Let's Plays and that kind of just exploded its popularity for the next couple of years. At least in terms of like this, like like all the fan art People and the crazy... Knowing about exactly, it. yeah. It is unfortunately up there with the, in quotes, famous creepypastas. Or infamous creepypastas. It's kind of weird, um, though, because like, when all the Let's Players played it, they didn't really reference the creepypasta no. at all. They're just playing the game. They're just playing so the game So you're, you're basically is. seeing the the middle of everything when yeah. you're just watching the Let's Plays. You're missing the start and the quote-unquote end. Yeah. Oh, and so this... It's kind of yeah. like people being all jazzed about the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies, but they've never read the books. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, Except, I guess when people do Let's Plays of Sonic EXE, they don't actually have the horrifying experience. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm just, yeah. I, so, there I is have a two. No fucks to give to come up with proper <laughs> yeah. words. <laughs> we gotta go fast, as we the gotta Sonic go fast. motto is. Yeah. Um, Alright, fuck it. Over. So, if you want to listen to the like, listen to a reading of this. There's a two-parter on creepy, uh, Mr. Creepypasta's YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> requires a two-parter. It's a so, thirty-minute video. Yeah, it's a you thirty. Just, yeah. <laughs> if you read it slow enough and have a little bit of pause, you can stretch it out to thirty minutes. Whatever. I didn't even read it. So fuck <laughs> it. We, we've already covered this. I yes. Mean. Yeah. Um. So we'll do the rundown. It's very. I'm not going to go into the huge details because it doesn't merit a whole lot. Because um, you can play the video game. And that's pretty much the bulk of this fucking story. Um, uh, and I mean, except for the fact that Kyle sends Tom the disc to destroy it when because he can't. Yeah. Because he's I don't know in too deep or some fucking bullshit. What yeah. I got out of it is he just didn't care. <laughs> like you get the di- you get the disc. Your best friend says like in very like. Scratchy. Shaky writing. Yeah. Get rid of the disc. But recognizable. But, yeah, yes. it's, it, that's what, yeah, recognize exactly, it. Recognize yeah. it. Because he's seen him on the edge of insanity before, apparently. Yeah. So he knows what his friend's insane writing looks like. Oh, yeah. I see. So he's also watched his friend write after reading this shit. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, like he reads it, and his friend's saying, "Don't play the game. Yeah. Destroy it." I can't beat it. He's too destroyed and this he, godforsaken disc. And he literally he comes after you too. And he literally it's says, "Too late for me. Destroy the disc, and you'll destroy." But I don't choose to destroy. <laughs> Anywho, and you'll destroy him. But do it quick, otherwise he will catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it, please. Ellipses. <laughs> Kyle. I'm pretty sure in there somewhere he said he's too fast as well. <laughs> Didn't he? Fast. Um, well, but eh, but do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Um, he's too fast. Ba, 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 ba. I, might, nope. I might have read a nope. different one. <laughs> I heard I heard it somewhere on one of them. He's too fast. Oh God, he's got to go fast. There's more. Re- he's running around at the speed of sound. Fast. Well, again, that's that's another thing that happened with um, this pasta is that it ended up on creepypasta.wiki. However, after like I think a year or two, it got removed from creepypasta.wiki to the troll pasta set wiki because it was so bad by the administrators of creepypasta.wiki. So but they have standards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't. Well, oh, well, apparently they do. They don't allow Jeff the Killer on there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You know how much shit I've read from there. Exactly. But yeah, anywho, so yeah, he gets this disc under weird circumstances, um, and decides to completely forgo his friend's trust. Yes. And play the goddamn game. His best friend, mind you. Yes. Yeah. Now here, here's a, here's a just I don't know a fucking sane and logical question. I've got this copy of a Sonic game, and, and it, it's driving me batshit insane. I'm gonna send it to my best friend, <laughs> Sonic Nut. Yeah, yeah. He's as opposed to the I know, my second best friend, <laughs> who I can be Sonic. Let, let's just go with like let, let's just accept the fact that he can't destroy it himself because I don't know he's too fucking retarded to Apparently. say CD meat hammer. Yeah, whatever. But I mean, why why would you send it to the Sonic your best friend who yeah. is a Sonic fanatic? That'd be like, man, I read this Lovecraft story, but I'm going fucking bonkers. I'm gonna send it to the cultists. <laughs> the yes, thing exactly. is, it wouldn't have any effect on me. Not probably. <laughs> I'm not. already far too far gone. Yes, <laughs> but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Well, like, yeah, because you know, you just got shit all over. Everything. Yep. Fucker. The easiest option for the kid, like, even if he couldn't destroy it, there's a thing called a garbage bag. Yeah. And a thing called a dump. There's a thing called you a You throw it bag. in the garbage, the garbage man takes it, and it's gone. Yeah. No one's going to touch it. It's in the garbage. <laughs> it's going to go the E.T. route, where it just yes. <laughs> ends up It'll... in a landfill. Exactly. That would it be will... the safest way. It will be discovered 30 years later. <laughs> well, no, because there's only one. Fuck. Sure. Watch a documentary in once in your life. <laughs> I'm sorry. So... <laughs> Yeah, so he decides to pl- for, go start playing the game, and he fir- he notices all the glitches that are in. Like, it's like like this isn't this is Sonic One, but then there's Sonic Three elements to it, and it's blood red skies and, eh. and read watch. So the- sorry, I yeah, forgot. Cool. Fucking 
necessary component of a video game creepypasta. Things that flash on the screen for like a split second. Yes. But every detail is it's, burnt. It's, yeah, it's somehow. <laughs> like, he, when that flashed, he noticed, like on the telescreen, it's, every it's, yeah, different thing. Every tiny thing. Because um, one part that's really specific is he notices that Sega 1999 changes to Sega 666 in a split second. Yeah. And yeah. he also notices, like, the blood freaking uh, the inverted eye. Oh, God. Hyper realistic blood. You need blood. the hyper realism. Of course. In everything. Um, like, yeah, fuck, no, this like, is, this like... This is really <laughs> just... It's an exercise in fucking what every one of these things is. Like, I mean... Th- there's plagiarism, and then there's video game creepypastas. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> like they bring it to a whole new level <laughs> in some ca- in cases. Well, yeah, I mean, at least fucking some of them try and have some sort of unique components. But man, this mm, one is yeah. this like I've bitched about these things. Before, oh yeah, I know. But this one just takes all of the things that I've ever bitched about in a video game podcast <laughs> and, just... and just fucking gotten rich, strip the fat. <laughs> And that's just, oh, it's so bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I, I had this put, uh, put on the list because, I mean, it's one of the heavy hitters of the the creepypastas that people read and stuff or like, or at least acknowledge as creepypasta. And I knew that we had to do it because it's like, especially after because I read it. Because you hate me. After, oh, no, after I read it, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get crucified tomorrow. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this needs to be done because this needs to be fucking hammered at. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike the disc, that should have been hammered. Get it. Anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm I really looking forward to the creepypasta that I'm sure is out there. It's like, fucking, I can't think of any fucking video games that are light and fluffy and should be, I don't know. Some. Um, the Care Bears. That's a TV show, not a video sure game. Yeah, I'm sure there's video games. There, there yeah. probably is, yeah. Some fucking Care Bears bullshit video game that's supposed to be, you know, all happy-go-lucky, and then it's all dark. And I'm just looking forward to the, to this pasta, because the guy's going to get it, and he's going to be like, man, that's fucked up, eject, fucking smash! All right. End of um, pasta. story is over. I've had, like, a very happy life. I'm, like, a million and eight. <laughs> <laughs> You know, couldn't that, be happier. <laughs> that that'll be like, oh, it'll be so short and so stupid and so pointless, but still way better. Cause you know, yeah, fucking eject. Yeah, just eject it. There's common sense in it, unlike most. And of then these. some <laughs> pastas like they, it's like I tried to eject it, but it wouldn't let me. It's like then just yank the console out and throw it out Eat. the window. Take the cords out, man. Yeah. Or like, just how about this? Stand up. Turn around, walk away. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Like Unless that's... it's physically holding you in place. There's nothing yeah, that's there, forcing you to play. There's a very real, like, I've had experienced it, where there's a very real reaction when you see something that is creepypasta haunted video game thing. I'm just like, nope. Nope. <laughs> just nope, 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 nope. Not just touching like... it. Not touching it. <laughs> but yeah, so, anyway, he goes into, so he starts playing this stupid game, um, and he's playing his Tails, and... It's this horrible, twisted version of one of the levels. Again, it's tons, like the first of, level, I believe. tons of description of a level and music and <laughs> just, uh It's like the, yeah, the, the Green Hills level. Or yeah, it's like, it's like the first um, level, except it's just flat. It's just flat, and, and there's, there's dead, nothing there. There's horrible, like, dead massacred, like, critters and stuff like that all over the well, place. Well, a- after he runs for five minutes to the right. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, <laughs> you know... God forbid this fucking go quickly. Exactly. Also, that's something I noticed, too. Like, the guy writes, like, I think throughout the entire story, like, he gets, like, exact, like, seconds and, like, times. Yeah. It's like, why did I need to know that this took 25 seconds for you to uh, to stare at this image? Well, like, that's like, pretty well, kind of, like, no, no, rough no. estimates. And most of those that, that aren't to stare at an image. They're to stare at a blank screen. Yeah. It's like, ooh. Yeah. Um, so then Sonic appears, uh, and he, but he's not Sonic because he opens his eyes and he's got the black eyes with the glowy red dots. Um, and he runs around, chases... You're skipping parts. I, yes. Who cares? <laughs> True enough. Continue, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and kills, and, and then like, uh, like attacks, uh, like chases, chases Tails around in like another level and then finally grabs him and then it cuts to black and it's like uh, or like yeah there's something about hide and seek he mentioned earlier yeah like then you find Sonic the first time 
Sonic <laughs> kills Tails. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, there okay. we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, it, yeah, so, like, there's some dialogue, but, yeah, otherwise, he kills Tails, goes back to the main screen. The character select. The sl- character select, um, and the... I uh, assume that Tails is not selectable at that point, or no. else why does he play the other characters? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you choose yeah. them, you go through the first two levels, and then it shows him dead on yeah. the character select screen like a blacked out image of him with like bleeding eyes kind of like the puppet from Five Nights <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking cares goddamn <laughs> bunch of pixels oh yeah yeah and that's the other thing this guy like is there's something wrong with this character that that's playing this game because he's like emoting too much about fucking these characters when they die like I almost teared up a little when when, when I saw Tails there and like crying I was like why? It's fucking. This is not last night, like l- the Last of Us, where no. there's like heart wrenching like moment. This is just pixelated characters in a pixelated level. Like, oh. Anyway, I don't know, so man, I almost cried when I was playing ET. <laughs> like as a kid, playing ET, and like, man, fucking tears. Like I just could not fucking escape that trench coated motherfucker. No. God damn it. Just always got a fucking scientist taking my recent or my phone piece. <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> Those rat bastards. Just, and then Elliot just fucking walking around every time I fail. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> well, we're okay, reliving well, these moments that, ourselves. And that's another thing <laughs> about the story. About anyway, that word is used way too many times in this pasta. Yeah. Wait, wait, what, what word? Anyway. anyway. He's like, because he starts then, describing something. And then, and then he's like, like, anyway, let's continue with the story because I don't want to explain this anymore. Yeah, it's like any more than the fucking three yeah. paragraphs and the so, fucking linked Google document. Like yeah. I know it's Sonic, and you got to go fast, but but he's like rushing his own creepy pasta to the point where hey hey, why are you bitching? I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what he's doing. You see? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he goes to he start, he starts up with Knuckles now, um, and it's another level. Uh, see, now here's my question because one thing that you did gloss over is the okay. fact that Doctor Robotnik is. Oh yeah, he, 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 does, he does. Yeah, yeah. Now why the yes, fuck yes. wouldn't you start with Doctor Robotnik? Yeah, like, he's a brand I've new. I played his motherfucking tales. I played as I played, and I don't like Sonic games. I was a <laughs> Nintendo brat. And I played as Knuckles and Tails. I'd be like, motherfucker, I'm a Sonic fan. I get to play, I get to play as Dr. Robotnik. Motherfucker, please! Yeah, yeah why would you That's wait a very through, good like, the last, like, last <laughs> possible moment to do that? Yeah, no, I get it. Um, yeah, so he thinks that's weird, but he ignores it. And plays the other characters in concession. Because, you know, you gotta go down the... the they're, they're, because we gotta have fucking escalation. And yeah. it's gotta be weird. And it's gotta be creepy. And it's gotta be fucking pathetic! Yeah. Um... Anyway, uh, <laughs> so Knuckles is, is playing, and uh, he's like, bra- they're breaking the, these characters are also breaking the fourth wall, because they'll, they'll look at the screen, and like, shrug, and like, I don't ask for help, wanna. and don't want to go forward, but Being he makes them go forward. Shitty story. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sonic shows up, and Knuckles tries to punch him, but he keeps disappearing, he's too fast. Yes, um, you cannot catch him. Eventually, um, it's just, like, he's just toying with him. Knuckles is as fast as him, plus he can glide. <laughs> Sonic can is the fastest thing alive. Yeah, but when you play the games, they're all equally fast. Yeah. He's the fastest thing alive. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sticking with it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um... So yeah, and like the guys get it, like it's it's tr- this uh, this playing around with uh, Knuckles is driving Knuckles insane, and apparently driving the character insane. Like he's just like you you go insane in the game, you go insane for real. <laughs> like yeah, no, you're pretty much insane to begin with. But um, and eventually there's a it cuts to black and you hear a screech, and so Knuckles dies. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's there's more dialogue from uh from the the Sonic character to the the player. Um, and it's creeping him out. And so at this point, like, again, back to the main menu, um, dead, no, dead knuckles, dead tail, still gotta go with Robotnik. But the guy decides to turn off the disc, or turn off his computer and stuff, and go take a nap. And wishes he hadn't. I totally fucking, yeah, I totally missed the nap. That's <laughs> he, awesome. he, goes, he goes and takes a nap, wishes he hadn't, because it's riddled with nightmares about Sanic. Yes, um, of course. And then uh, he wakes up in a chill, 
And I know I'm going right through because I don't recall enough of that nightmare to or care. I don't, yeah. 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 I don't remember him going to sleep at all, to be honest. He took a nap. I must have read it every once. Anyway. Anyways, continue. Um, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is the greatest episode. So good. Um, so professional. So uh, goes, yeah, goes back to the game, uh, boots it up, and start, and he has to finish it. He has to know what's going on. Plays Robotnik, and Robotnik is the level of Robotnik isn't even a fucking Sonic level. It sounded more like a Mario level from Mario Three, uh, with checkered bo- with checkered uh, floor and like stone walls and like l- uh, torches and curtains on the top of it, that's, like the fucking Sonic th- like like Mario Three. That's one thing that's really weird about it. And even it's, though oh, it did take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I hadn't, because I then began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch blackness, though I was under the light given off by... Then you weren't in pitch blackness. <laughs> yeah, pitch blackness is an absence of light. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Fuck. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways. And what's this Kefka laugh? A Kefka laugh... It, well, Kefka's from Final Fantasy. It's a villain um, who had a really creepy distorted laugh. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is what I keep trying to get to. For some yeah, reason, exactly. in this Sonic game, which is obsessed around Sonic like, and focused I, on I Sonic... I totally there's... thought it was like the Wilhelm scream or no, something. No, no, it's like... <laughs> yeah, for some reason, in a game that's completely yeah. focused on Sonic, it's all about Sonic, they keep bringing in all these other things, like music from Earthbound played backwards, the Kefka laugh... Like the and, son, the, by the end, by Robotnik's level, it's it's like the description he gives. Like I didn't think of anything but the Mario Three like yeah, opening. Yeah, exactly. So it, it everything should have been Sonic if it's supposed to be focused on Sonic, but, but it's not. No, yeah, for whatever it's just reason, this horrible amalgamation with Sonic at the center, but not really. Yeah, um, it's really just like it's Sonic. The character, that's it. Or it seems some characters, that's it. Everything it seems else like in the creepypasta, the game that he's playing is a game that someone made. Well, that's what it's he, not like something that's possessed. Yeah, because well, it would all be all focused on the are, one thing. Games that are someone made. made. I know, but I mean, like a fan <laughs> made. He's like, oh, yeah, this well, is kind of creepy. I'll put it. In. Well, that's soft, he actually but addresses I don't care. that like at the begin near the beginning. He's like, I realized I wasn't playing a glitched game. I was playing a hacked game, but that's okay. That hack games are okay. Like. Because I'm a smart gamer or something. And because I'm a smart gamer, I wasn't creeped out or or I wasn't scared. (laughs) Not really. (laughs) I was like, yeah. uh, Anyway, um, going to. Yeah, so. uh, Anywho, so. He pushes Robotnik through the the level. He's had a fucking nap. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes. Yes, he did. Um, And then he plays as Robotnik, goes through the level. And it's like this, just hallways and then staircases, and he goes into pitch blackness and darkness. But um, I'm sure there's fucking light. Oh yeah, yeah. no, there's yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Good. Good. The music is getting slower and deeper until and eventually it's just gone. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's so creepy, guys. Like, come on. Um, and uh, then I think does it just? Are you okay over there? <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm just reading this for the first book of time. <laughs> And then uh, love it because Doctor Robot. I, I don't know where you are, but where I am, exactly Doctor Robotnik are. is um, looking really creeped out. But like, yes, of course. Why? But he's trying to hide it, you know, because he's tough sauce. Of course, he's the villain. He, is, he, he, he the has villain. to have that aura around. Oh, him, oh, oh and now, okay. And the red static lasted for 15 seconds, and it showed me exactly. a most unpleasant image, hyper realistic. <laughs> Yeah, so, oh yeah. like hyper realistic Sonic. The hyper realistic Sonic look like so that you can see every follicle of his fur. Well, yeah, but like I mean, his his design is so far from realism. Yeah. Basically, just put up a picture of a blue hedgehog, probably. Yeah, it's just <laughs> a blue hedgehog with a, <laughs> with, a, with, a, with, a, with a creepy human smile. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like. I mean, that yeah, one's that's... just fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's like hyper realistic. Like, I mean, and... His proportions are <laughs> fucked. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if he was like if if that image were to actually be alive, I'm pretty sure it would beg us all to kill it. Yeah, that'd be one of those things that I'd just gone. <laughs> kill me. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, I think it. Uh, does it just end with him like? Uh, it ends with him uh, with the uh, that uh, with the cuts to black. Um, Robotnik died, um, 
there's that creepy hyper realistic face. Yeah. The thing starts talking to him. It does, yeah, isn't and it like text over the creepy face that says like I am God or yeah, something I like that? I am God. Yeah. Um and then it, the guy like and then it turns off and like it, his computer doesn't really work or something like that, I think. Um and then He gets like this creepy feeling behind yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as he And no, no, no but first he realizes that this Sonic is a monster. <laughs> Just realizing now. It's like, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. Oh, God. Love it. Love it. The guy's a little late to the party, basically. <laughs> Much like Dr. Leviathan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that would be like me not understanding that this was shit, but actually I, re- but I actually read it. Yeah, that's true. Whereas I knew this it guy, was shit, and I didn't read it because I knew it was shit. This guy spent like three... Yeah, exactly. He spent like three characters realize, and then just realized on the third one. He's a monster. I think okay, yeah. Sonic like, would be a monster as soon as you watch him murder Tails on the sand just right off the start. All the massacred little critters. But, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Well, no, I'm just trying to move us along yeah. because I want this to happen. So, um, <laughs> so, yeah, he gets booted back to the main menu. Da, da, da. And then... Image of Robotnik, Tormented Day, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, after Robotnik dies... Oh, oh, oh yeah, he looks at Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, and he cries a bit. <laughs> he pitied them for the... Egg. What about my pity? I deserve pity! <laughs> I read parts of this! <laughs> <laughs> this is your true hell, Dr. Leviathan. <laughs> this po- this then episode. Then the computer shuts itself off. He couldn't turn it back on, no matter what he... D- Why would you even try? Yeah. He sat there for maybe, maybe 25 seconds. Not 23. Maybe 26. I don't know. Maybe 26. Maybe 24. But not maybe 30. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> Horrified by what had just happened. Ba ba ba. Very embodiment of evil. He tortures, ba, ba, ba. he tortures people who play this game in more ways than one. He makes them read this after. <laughs> and then he gets bored. He drags you into the game. Literally. I'm pretty sure you mean figuratively. No, he literally drags you to hell where he can play with you always as his toy. As long as it's not a sex toy. Probably is if he's dragging I can't you down. get the game out of my computer. I think it's stuck in there, but at least I managed to turn it back on now. After I sat there for 25 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and then I think it ends with like him uh, hearing Seen a whispering. Seeing a sonic plushie. Yeah, no, yeah. He hears a whisper Blood behind him. It's like... Under his eye. Yeah, he hears a whisper behind his behind him, and like it's like, well, it's like ready for another ghost. Uh, buddy. No, 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 no. He it's said, "Try to keep this yeah, interesting okay, okay, that's for it. me." Thank you, Tom. <laughs> and then he like turns around, and on his bed is so a it, Sonic it, plushie with it blood. Figuratively drags you to hell because he's still sitting at his computer. Yeah. So literally drags you to hell. Mm, you misused the word literally. Might have needed to Google that word before he typed it in. Or just done what everyone else should. Just think about it before you use it. Yeah. Because, I mean, the the misuse of the word literally is literally, literally killing me. (laughs) (laughs) Like, literally. Like, just as a whole. For literals. Yeah, yeah. Totes. (laughs) Totes literals. Uh, But anyway... (laughs) That's the end of the pasta. The carrot it leaves off with this weird fucking plushy of Sonic with blood Why on his the face. Where does the plushie come from? I don't know. He's a Sonic fan. Okay, yeah, so, no, no, cool. no. The pl- like the plushie's never mentioned in the story. And yeah, like, no. yeah for it's it, just out of left field. Like I so, get it. He okay. probably has dozens because he's clearly super obsessed. Yeah, but you know. Like, I mean, mention it. Yeah, then you notice time. the change. Yeah. It's yeah, not we're, just we're not there giving anything, it's just there, yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, it. Uh, uh, so, so there's been me- much speculation. Fucking nitpick. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's been much speculation on this story about, uh, like, from commenters and stuff like that, as to what exactly was Sonic, you see, the entity that was parodying a Sonic. Like, some people thought it was the devil, some people thought it was God, blah, blah, blah. The JC the hyena. <laughs> 
actually went out on a f- thread like a, a year or so after the story uh, like got really big, and um, and gave his 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 uh, like words from God um, as to what was going on. Like he how he got came up with the story was because he did a screen cap and he was like, oh, I'm gonna make a story off of that. And then he even explained what exactly Sonic EXE is, like the entity. So the entity, oh God, you prepared. <laughs> yep, is. <laughs> was nothing at one point that drew itself into reality and discovered our reality, but more importantly, discovered the wor- the, the game of Sonic. The glorious world of Sanhedrin. And became a fan of Sonic. And wanted, and used it, like, used Sonic's form as its form. So, it is literally a creature from beyond time and space that became a Sonic fan and made itself a Sonic game. And wants to Twi- and wants to make its little like reality within the game closer to our reality by sucking in players and shit. That is literally from the creator of the story. <laughs> I just I don't I don't even yeah you <laughs> like so you you really need to balance what your fucking thing is because I mean like oh I'm a creature from beyond time and space I am like. Stupid powerful. Yeah, I'm not haunting a video game. Yeah, like you, you figure he'd my have plans are a little bit bigger than haunting a video game. game. Yeah, I'm probably you know conceiving of ways to devour the universe. Yeah, not and like haunting. maybe he still maybe does. I like the That's idea. The thing. Like of, this might just well, be his hobby in his yeah. spare time. And, and I'm going to say this... Don't with... try and justify this shit. No, no. Because what I'm trying to say, you got to have scope. Like, yeah. if, it's a, if it's a haunted video game, it's not haunted by a creature from beyond time and space. It's haunted by a suicidal game developer. Yeah. Or, you know, like, a by... crazed fan who, I don't know... Went nuts. Yeah. And died and then became his spirit his spirit was ingrained into the into the game or into his it's something that he smaller owns. scale yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah, a focus yeah, yeah, exactly it, yeah it's it's small cuz i mean it's like, like it's like the even as a hobby a creature beyond time and space his his hobbies his are brain patterns are so unfathomable that this is too insignificant to be his hobby yeah, yeah. like <laughs> i could see like even if he's a sonic fan like okay <laughs> I'm not saying this is a good idea at all, because it isn't, but I did like the idea, like, I, I unfortunately, like, when I was reading that, like, the explanation, I was like, oh, no, because it's like, I actually like that idea of something, like, like, some Eldritch Horror or something like that, like, t- just, like, like, have, like leaving something in an artifact, or, like, turning a game or cartridge or something like that into an artifact, but not actually, like, becoming a fan of a game franchise from Earth, and yeah. going and like you like I mean and using oh, it. Oh man, just like, I love uh, Sonic. I want to make everything like Sonic because Sonic it. is so awesome. Oh yeah, like it's not like like Sonic's I, not that good. No, <laughs> no. Like I, not. I think I'm out of the three of us. I think I'm the only one who actually enjoyed it as a kid, but <laughs> or liked it as a kid. The classic games are fun and all that, but I don't get the obsession with it. No. Well, I mean, I understand it. It's furries and stuff. Yeah, probably, exactly. But... It's just the furry thing, I guess. It's... We're not touching that because that's yeah. I gotta take that. And there's nothing. And there's no, and, and fur, there's nothing wrong with being a furry. Just to our audience, to each their own. That's yeah. the way it is. Exactly. It's just not for us, so we don't connect with it that way. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, man, we have just kind of. This was essentially the Godzilla NES tier of like commentary during the rundown. So. Um, is there anything else to add? Yeah, that you'd be better off playing Sunky.mpeg, which is a parody of Sonic.exe. It's hilarious. You pretty much go through the same thing, but everything is hilarious along the way, and you would actually enjoy your time spent playing it. All right. <laughs> straight so up, go look uh, that straight up. Straight up promotion from the gamer in yellow. For a free game. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> He's like, I'm not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm homeless. No. Okay. I'm you have to tell them that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, like, we pretty much kind of set our piece about it. Like, we knew, you guys all, whoever listening to this, you knew what you were getting into when, we, when you get into this episode. Um, none of us really recommend this one at all. Um, if, if you're interested in maybe play the game version of it, 
Cause just and that, like that, or maybe even watch a let's play on YouTube. But that's it. Like <laughs> it is. Just, it is a carbon copy. It is a shortened, like stripped down carbon copy of. Godzilla NES or that type of video game creepy pasta. Yeah, it's an like, exercise in replace the words. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like replace like, take title. Out the love interest. Put take out Godzilla. Put in the dude's name or yeah. put in Sonic's name rather. Yeah, and, and make it, the love interest of, like your best friend. Yeah, pretty much. Even though like your best friend's just doomed because he's never mentioned after where he's like, no, yeah, he, he, he's he's trapped in hell. That's one thing I don't get in so many. <laughs> Literally these... trapped in hell. Yeah, yeah, but he mailed it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, oh, that's another thing that really irked. Me at the yeah. beginning of this one is like so the guy is like playing his playing his Sonic uh, playing Sonic Unleashed or whatever the, one of the new games or from like a couple of years ago, um, and he notices in the periphery that the postman has just dropped off something in his post box or his um, his mailbox. So he goes out and goes checks the mailbox and he finds not a package yes but a disc With a and note. a note. The post yeah. office doesn't work for free! <laughs> yeah, that's the fucking problem. That's my problem for that. The way I can kind of see that as, it's one of two ways. Either it was the actual post office, and that doesn't make sense, or B, the postman was not the postman. He was okay. some It evil... was Sonic! It was Sonic! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh yeah, so... Anyway, this this has been quite an adventure of an episode. Surprisingly so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, if you enjoyed our craze rambling spiraling into madness as we discussed Sonic.exe, um, please leave a comment section, or please leave a comment in the comment section below, wherever this gets posted. Whether it be on Kiwi6, Facebook, YouTube, Pretty Tumblr. sure they know what they will listen to. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we we might have some new guys. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty sure they know where they're listening. <laughs> True enough. Fair enough. Um, no, but they may yeah, not know the other options exactly. where they could listen. Um, you can also uh, leave us a review on iTunes. That'd be awesome of you. Um, we are both uh, Doctor Leviathan and myself are on Twitter at Doctor Leviathan and Review Cultist. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> maybe you might have. Um, awesome. I have there somewhere. <laughs> Um, and you can leave a uh, email at eldente rigamortis at gmail.com. That's A L D E N T E R I G A M O R T I S at gmail.com. Where you can also leave us suggestions for other creepy bosses you'd like us to discuss on the show. Um, also, if you'd like to show support, you could go to the crazonstudios.tumblr.com and check out the title cards for every episode that I that we do, as well as donate, which is right on the sidebar of the Tumblr site. And and don't be confused by the whole Crazon Studios. That's just the cultist. Yeah. <laughs> this is alias. Yeah. Well, no, it's just it's just one guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't try and. Don't don't think that we're some sort of big production. <laughs> well, I, I know mean, we yeah. give that illusion because <laughs> we're so professional. Oh yeah. So I think until next time, <laughs> I've been your host, Review Cultist. I'm still Doctor Leviathan, and I am still the gamer in yellow. And this has don't been steal my shit. I can say still if I want to. He's children, my shit. children, my fiber. <laughs> So many, so <laughs> many experiments on your corpse. <laughs> and this has been El Dente Rigamortis. Sleep well. I know I won't. <laughs> I should have stayed in bed and kept sleeping. Honestly, just I didn't even read the ending. I just, you just the, 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 it's like there there is is it's no, over. There really is no ending. There's no ending. It stops. Yeah, but I didn't even <laughs> read the word. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. You just saw that it was over. I was like, I'm done. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. I was like, woohoo! I scrolled to the end. <laughs>
going on the B-roll. <laughs> I was going to say. 